Hello everybody, uh, Goldman here from the Secular Creed, and um, today we're talking about a topic, as you can tell by the title, you're already going to know what the topic is. Um, so here at the Secular Creed, as you know, we are an up and rising um, channel on YouTube, which seeks to abolish the delusion of religion, and religion is a delusion, as we know, so we have this transcendentalistic mindset which allows us to sort of rise above this conventional religion. Now, that being said, this is not easy, so I cannot show my face uh, due to these religious extremists. This is one of the not easy parts of being an atheist. Um, I, I must mask my identity because these, these religious extremists, these borderline crusades, and these Muslim extremists, as we know about France, they find any excuse to murder people. They really, really, really do. So that being said, today we're going to talk about Bernie Sanders. Um, so I don't want to resort to ad uh, hominies, ad hominems, uh, whatever you want to call them, whatever the uh, your pronunciation is. Um, first off, I'd like to say I am a reliable source. I am credible because due to my intellect and everybody else is on the channel's intellect we we have a lot of experience in this field so you can take my word for this as a bona fide guarantee that you will leave today understanding the truth about this crook known as bernie sanders so oh boy my cat is over here <laughs> love animals hate religion anywho um uh, so, uh, we'd like to start off here, uh, me being a libertarian brutalist, um, I, I, I don't particularly, um, hold on, let me, let me just change that, um, I don't particularly agree with the anarcho-capitalist mindset of the non-aggression principle, right, so, um, I am a libertarian brutalist, so I have, uh, get out of here, I have omitted the nap because due to the nap um i find it i find it a flawed idea and that's a whole different kit and caboodle that's for a whole different episode of the secular creed oh boy this cat is really really irritating me ha 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 anywho um so ah uh, bernie sanders where do i even start bernie sanders is this this crook who is appealing to this early young modern gender or gender <laughs> generation. He is introducing ideals which have only worked in the book and on paper since the beginning of time. We know that any leftist ideology can sincerely be omitted and can be discredited just by mere economic principles. Fundamental things that we should all understand that make Bernie Sanders look like a fool. Um, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm going ahead because as I could see from our um, uh, demograph, our age demograph, um, most of you are in the 13 to 16 range so i will tone down my vernacular a little bit but i find it completely asinine nonetheless that uh, bernie sanders is 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 finding these principles in the united states that are somehow appealing to these dim-witted asinine individuals right right so we look at capitalism we see a system that works it works both in theory and in practice. Hmm. Right, right? Now we see socialism, collectivism, and communism. These are not sincere ide ideologies. Now, we can say that, oh, this is beautiful. Everybody's equal. Everybody's happy. No, this is false. This is a false premise. This is a false dichotomy to completely take you away from the truth. Now, 
What's the truth? The truth is that this is too good to be true. Leftism is too good to be true. Now, Bernie Sanders, right, right, he has some, some decent social uh, tenets that I will say are subpar at best. And here's why I say subpar. He opposes the notion of making monopolies, right? Monopolies of any sort. Yet we know, other than religion, what the opium of the masses is, right? Right? As atheists, as open-minded individuals, we know what another opium is, and that is the state. The state is naturally uh, an opiate of the masses. Seriously, we cannot tolerate the state. So Bernie Sanders, who completely, and this, this gets me really, really irate. This seriously does. He hates, hates monopolies, just as us, right? He says he does, right, right? This is the dishonesty and the hostility that he shows to the truth, th the truth finders. He, he creates this monopoly. He preserves, he proliferates, in fact, this monopoly of the state. He is a communist. He is a statist. He is a Jew. Right? If he understood simplistic, archaic, archaic is kind of a, kind of a harsh word, but primitive and, and fundamental and quintessential economic principles, then he would understand his ideals, ideals, this is nothing that could work in the real world, are fallacious. They are a fallacy at best. If you look at the minimum wage, he wishes to rise it to $15. This is a mere delusion. And why do I say this is diluted? Because this is to distract us from these economic principles. We look at supply and demand, and we can understand that we can't distribute more money. This will cause mass inflation. You can look at the stats. You can look at how economics works. It is so primitive. It is so simple. Yet he sees through this, and he's leading the Democratic vote. How asinine. I am so irate right now, and I feel that I must show hostility towards these individuals, these leftist individuals, these communists, these statist communists.